First things first, whenever working with a hardware board, it is good to have the pinout diagram at hand as a reference. A pinout diagram shows all the pins on the board that you can connect peripheral sensors and actuators to. It describes the function of each pin so that you know specifically where you should plug in new peripherals. You can find the Raspberry Pi pinout diagram at this website. Just googling Raspberry Pi pinout and clicking images will give you many options, but I recommend this site as an obvious and trustworthy example. Here you can see what the function of each pin on your Raspberry Pi board is. There are pins for power and ground to complete circuits, but also pins for GPIO, PWM, I2C, SPI and UART, which are different communication protocols. In future lessons, we will explore each of these protocols in turn to understand their use. For now, it is good enough to understand that each pin has a function and the sensors or actuators you connect to your Raspberry Pi will need to connect to specific pins.